Yeah, so here we are. Um, anyway, one thing we'd like to do is uh, let a few other people, if we have them from the diaspora who've been around a long time or been around a while, uh, give you a little bit of their insights. Uh, uh, Sister Erna's going to have to leave here pretty quickly, but we're going to just get a few few inputs in there. Also, if you have some questions that that maybe I can't answer or you don't think I can answer, <laughs> now that don't sound right. Any questions? <laughs> Ask Sister Erna or whoever comes up. All right, Erna. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, it's a pleasure to see so many of you. Uh, I would just like to say that um, my name is out on YouTube because of this brother. This one right here. Uh, he brought a group over to my house a few years ago, and um, I can't even go to the airport now without somebody coming up to me saying, I know you, I know who you are, and then I'm in my mind trying to figure out, okay, so who is this person here now? I say, I know that more recently I suffer from CRS. Do you all know what CRS is? <laughs> Can't remember shit. <laughs> recently, recently. Uh, <laughs> oh no, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Speak your energy. <laughs> but it's really interesting. Like I said, I've been at the airport and had people to come up to me and uh, various places where people have come up to me and said that they knew me. And I had no idea who they were until I found out that it was that they saw a video of me. And so it was because of him that uh, there are people out there that know me, like the sister here who came over and spoke to me. Yeah, I know you. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's very nice to see you all, and we welcome you all. And um, it's a pleasure to uh, be here. My brother over there, Amin Rock, called me. Well, he sent me a message. and. I didn't know this was happening. I thought he was just here visiting. And then when he said Bomani, then I knew what was happening. <laughs> so what I'd just like to say is that um, I have been here out here in Pram Pram. Uh, I purchased land out here 23 years ago. And uh, I uh, built my home 21 years ago. I retired 13 years ago from the Detroit Public Schools after working for 35 years and retired and came here to Pram Pram. Uh, when I came out here 23 years ago, uh, you look around now and you see buildings everywhere, but 23 years ago, there was nothing but land and bush out here. Bush literally was over oh. here. Everywhere you look, a few little huts here and there, but this has all been done in the last 21, 22 years. Mo most of what you see out here. Um, so it's been growing by leaps and bounds. And for those of you who are interested in buying land, you can forget it. You will never find an acre of land for $8,000 anymore, which is what I got for mine 23 years ago. But um, it is nice being here when people ask me, oh, do you like it here? I said, yeah, and I'd be quite truthful with them. And I tell them 89% of the time, I love it. And then the other, well, you know, it's just a part of what we have to deal with if you make a decision to come here and stay. But I can't think, well, yeah, I could think of one other place that I'd rather be, and that's in the Ivory Coast. But uh, I do enjoy being here. I'm just five minutes away from here, just down here on the seaside. And um, Is that an invitation? Yes. 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 He, you, you, you always had the invitation to come. Appreciate you, my sister. Appreciate okay. my. Uh, you made a decision, so it's okay. Oh. We can come by. We can come by and check you out. Yes. Well, the, well, it's going to be depending on how long before you leave, because I actually was supposed to have been going uh, somewhere else with a friend of mine that lives just over the way until my brother here invited me, my Detroit brother invited me to. <laughs> Thank, That's you. What's up. <laughs> Thank you so much. He invited me to come over and uh, have lunch and meet his family. And I'm really very happy that I did. I, like I said, I didn't know it was gonna be a, a group of you all, but it's such a pleasure to see you all. And I hope you are enjoying your tour. 
And uh, I hope that you all, some of you I'm sure will make a decision at some point to come back. You'll come back and you'll come back again and then one day you'll look up and you'll say, oh, uh, I'm living in Ghana now. Um, and and to, to a certain extent, uh, it's, I think that it's good for those of you, uh, those of us who may be retired because I find that it's easier for me to live here uh, as a retiree and especially since I built my home prior to coming here. Uh, so once I built my home and then I retired, then, you know, you have your retirement check coming in, your home is already built, I have no bills. Well, I do pay water bill and uh, electricity. Although I have solar, it doesn't work all the time. But at any rate, uh, it's so much easier if you are retired, unless you're a, a millionaire. Uh, and what's really good about it too is that up until more recently, uh, earlier this year, one of our dollars was worth 19 of theirs. But of course it has dropped down considerably since then. But it makes it a lot easier. If you are retired, you have retirement money coming in, you've saved up your million dollars and you decided that you just wanted to come here and move. There is a certain amount of peacefulness here that that is very difficult for you to find there in the United States. So if you make a decision that you want to come here and stay, um, you know, prepare yourselves. If you decide you want to get land, check out everything, put your monies together. It would be really nice if we did something collectively. One of the things that I would love to see done is if we could do some, get together and do some affordable housing for those who are coming and have a little community uh, just to kind of show uh, the Ghanaians and the government what we are capable of doing. We come in and we invest as individuals, heavily most of us, you know, but we never really do anything as a collective like the Indians are here, they work collectively, the who else? The Lebanese are here, they work together, and of course the Chinese are coming in to take over. Um, but if we begin to see the importance of coming together as a collective, you would see so much more achievement done here in this country. So think about it, and if you have a couple of friends and uh, you know you want to, you've made a decision that you're going to move here, maybe your friends could get together, buy some land together, and do some building together. I think it would be a lot, lot more easier. And it's good when we are in, we're in communities of like-minded people that can work together. And I think it's also a way to show that we are capable of coming in, building together, and you know, doing certain things together as a community. So I think that's about all that uh, I have to say, if there are any questions. I would be glad to answer any questions that you have. You have a question over there? Okay. No one has a question? Okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate you, Erna. Appreciate you.